Hello everyone, a new incarnation of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is upon us, and with it a new line of action figures by Playmates Toys. Let's take a quick look at the package. So this is the international card, and on the front it seems to be identical to the one uh, from for the US release. But on the back there are some differences, such as this sticker from the distributor. Um, imports Dragon and also the profile card uh, it's different in that it comes in different languages and such the copy or the, the description of the character has been greatly shortened something that uh, I find interesting is that the design, the new designs of the turtles of the older characters they look so different from one piece of art to the next so for example to me this Leonardo looks quite different uh, to this one which one this one looks uh, like younger bigger eyes maybe a bigger head and this one seems uh, lank lankier and taller personally I'm not a hundred percent on board uh, on the on the style of the movie and this is where I think the figure not looking exactly like he does in the art or in the in the movie uh, it's a positive point now this is not new for playmates uh, we saw that before in the Bay movies that that the toys uh, took some liberties compared to what was seen on screen and so for example in those movies uh, the turtles were ginormous and the nostrils were quite uh, defined and so for example the toy version of the bay turtles have uh, different proportions than in the movie they have uh, bigger heads compared to their bodies which make them look uh, smaller in frame and and height compared to the ones in the movie when you put them alongside the human characters of the toy line they are pretty much the same size and, and as such they don't look as huge as they did in the movie. The nostrils are all but disappeared in the toy. They are there, but they are not as noticeable as in the movie. So uh, I think they, the toys benefited from looking a bit different from the source material. And I think we're seeing the same thing here in the, in the, oh, in the Mutant Mayhem toy line uh, by virtue of not having all the, all the extra paint apps to um, to make it look like an illustration and so the only areas in which we see um, black outlines are the mouth and the eyes but not every, anywhere else in the body which I'm glad that's the case also uh, in the case of Leonardo he looks the closest to uh, um, a classic uh, a Ninja Turtle right one thing that I quite like about the toys is that the sculpture is a bit rough in places, giving it a bit of a claymation look. So to me, this looks like a non-existent stop motion uh, motion picture, something like Coraline or maybe something like uh, from uh, Wes Anderson. So in terms of articulation, this new Mutant Mayhem line, at least the turtles, share the same articulation setup as the previous main turtle lines from Playmates since 2012. And uh, here's my partially customized Leonardo from 2012. So they share pretty much the same articulation with one addition, which is the ankle, which now has a swivel. Not a hinge, just a swivel but that helps with balancing the figure. In terms of accessories, Leonardo comes with his two swords, katanas. They have been painted this time. I'm happy to confirm that the swords can be stored on the back of the figure for a very cool look. Speaking of cool looks, I really like the shell of the toy. Leonardo comes with this pre-mutated version of himself which is cast in uh, green plastic and that I will attempt to paint and show you the results in just a bit 
He also comes with uh, the weapons rack, similar to what the original Leonardo came with. Here's Leonardo holding his kunai. Holding his knife, I don't know if it has a name. A slice of pizza, which he cannot really hold. He can hold it in between his fingers. His throwing star, which also he's having trouble holding, unless again we position it in between his fingers. And the best of these accessories, in my opinion, which is the broken vial of ooze or mutagen. Uh, it has a handle for some reason. So it kind of feels like a mug or a thermos that he's holding. If you are wondering, he can hold the kunai uh, in his in his belt, uh, which might be by accident or by design. In any case, I like that. Here's Leonardo, fully armed, ready for battle. With some creativity, you can have Leonardo hold all his weapons at the same time. You can also use the frame of the weapons rack to display the weapons when not in use. Oops. Okay, so here are the repainted weapons. Um, as I said, I really wanted to see the mutagen canister repainted. And that's what I did. Luckily, with the base color being silver, it means that there's no risk of the of paint peeling off the areas uh, where the figure hold, holds the accessory, in this case the handle. And here is the repainted slice of pizza. And here are the rest of the painted weapons. That's pretty much it for today. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.